the well-known shell game, three walnut shells and a pea. We place the pea under a shell. Under which shell is the pea? Many people have wagered thousands of dollars, so sure were they that they knew. Now, some will say, under this shell. Most people will say, under this shell. Few people will say, under this one. Here is a hat, a tall hat. Is the crown taller than the width of the brim? Well, obviously, yes. It would be absurd to think differently. But wait a minute, let's see. So, six inches. And so, exactly six inches. Here is a formation of cubes, count them. How many cubes are there? Some of us will count six, some will count seven. And now, let's look at the same thing from another point of view from another perspective. Now count them. Now how many are there? Are there seven or six? <laughs> Strange, isn't it, how a different point of view can change the appearance of things? We're looking at a silhouette. Is it an animal? A moose, a reindeer, a buffalo? The head of a man? Or is it a witch? Is it a tree for the fear that lurks in so many minds, an atomic cloud? <laughs> but you see, it's only an overturned ink bottle, a blot of ink. Some of us see the truth. Some of us see only part of the truth. Some of us never see the truth. looking at the same scene, you and I. What do we see? An artist's studio? An overturned easel? Scattered paints and brushes? A knife? A woman? A man? We're all looking at the same scene at the same time. But do we all see the same thing? Do we all see the same man in the same way? In the past 12 hours, he attracted the attention of a number of people. Let's see what they beheld. Michael Gerard is my son. Sometimes he worries me. He's so moody and difficult. But at heart, he's a good boy. Michael Gerard, he's a ladies' man, a smooth operator with the women. He's a hood. I know a hood when I see one. A real hood. He's insane. He's a lunatic. He's a murderer. Just 12 hours ago, Michael Gerard was sitting in the crystal room. He's a ladies' man, all right, that's for sure. I knew it right away the first time I served him drinks. He wasn't just looking around. He was sizing up every dame in the place. He didn't care if his girlfriend knew it or not. Sure, she got mad and an argument started. But that didn't stop him. All of a sudden, he lighted up. Then I saw what caught his eye. It was the blonde, a real good looker. I figured, let him look. What can he do about it? Waiter. Yes, sir. Who's that girl over there? The blonde. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know. She comes in here often with the same gentleman. Okay, thanks. Talk about nerve. How far will a guy like that go? You'll come up to my place then? 
I thought I'd seen everything. Tomorrow? Tomorrow at nine? All right. He was smooth, all right. Too smooth. Why do you say he was too smooth? I know how to get around myself. Sometimes I don't understand, Michael, even if he is my son. He's so unpredictable. He's so moody and ill-tempered. But he's a good boy. Michael? Morning, Mom. Good morning, dear. I'll see you later. I've got to get going. But, Michael, you must eat something. I don't have time. But I made hot corn muffins, eggs basted the way you like them. I have a date at the studio. There's a new model coming in at 9 o'clock. Everything's ready. I'll butter the muffins. I told you I don't want any breakfast. But, Michael, you can't go to work on an empty stomach. Well, will you let me alone? Just one muffin, Michael. It's good for you. Michael, worries me. Mrs. Gerard, does Michael pay attention to you when you speak to him? Attention? <laughs> Doesn't hear a word I say. Yeah, I remember Mike Gerard. The way he acted, who could forget him? In my business, you learn to size up a guy fast. One good look and I had him spotted. A real hood. Right away, he started getting tough. Your cab, Mac? Yeah. Okay, let's go. As soon as I call in. Skip the call and let's go. Nice day, isn't it? Didn't feel much like working today. I'd have rather gone to the track. I was out there a couple of weeks ago. Had a lousy day. In the feature, I had Lucky Joe. He was leaving two lengths at the three quarters. And going into the stretch turn, he went wide. Jock could have held him in. But I guess he didn't want to. If you know what I mean. The boys really handle that job. With grease. They're smart. Real smart. I hear they only set up one race a week. Brother, I'd give my right arm to be in on one good fix. Uh, you wouldn't have any ideas, would you? Shut up. Huh? I said shut up. I got things on my mind. Well, that doesn't mean nothing. Just talking. Feel that bump? You know what caused it? Politics. Floated a bond issue two years ago. The bump's still there. Crooked politics. That's what it is. Oh, I don't mean that uh, all politicians are crooks. Look, Mac, I said shut up. All right, bud. All right. A real hood. What makes you so sure he was a hood? Don't I know what makes a bulge under a coat? Maggie Gerard rents from me a long time. I got a building full of artists. And they're all peculiar. But Gerard? A lunatic. Huh? What's that? Did you say something? I said good morning, clean good morning. Is it? Everything is relative. I just said good morning. This is an issue, maybe? My good friend Koppelmeyer, words do not mean the same to all men. Is that so? So what does good morning mean? By me it means good morning. What is it by you? All kinds of things. Plans and their fulfillment. A dream comes to life. Mr. Gerard, you are talking foolishness. I'm talking real things. Real things? What is reality? You see that lady? You think she's real? Oh, that lady is not real, huh? I made her up from my imagination. Exactly. Do you understand me, Cobblewire? I understand you are a <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, you proved my point. The man you see in me does not exist. You don't exist this either. No, Cobblewire, no. I do not exist. So who is going to pay your rent? Mr. Cobblewire, would you really know a lunatic if you met one? I'm an expert. Several cases in my family. Something about that, Mr. Gerard, 
frightens me. I've seen his paintings when I do up his room. I don't know what can be in his mind to paint such things. When he came in today, the way he looked. Broad studio. On the left. Thank you. Yeah? It's Louise. Come in. Why are you acting so mean? Stop looking at me that way. Let go of me. No! that saw Michael Gerard. The waiter saw a lady killer, a smooth operator. Through his mother's eyes, Michael was thoughtless, unappreciative. To the cabbie, he appeared as a gangster, a real hood. But to Koppelmeyer, Michael was a lunatic. <laughs> Always fearful of others, the cleaning woman viewed Michael as a monster, a murderer. Five different people, five different Michael Gerards. But what is the truth? Let's go back and see through Michael's eyes. For a long time, I've had an idea. I wanted to paint the 20th century Madonna. Mother of all men who sees her children crucified by this age as she looks on in sorrow and compassion. I knew that somewhere there was a woman with a face, the depth, the spiritual quality of my Madonna, and that I must find her. For without her, I could not put my dream on canvas. I searched for her everywhere. And then one night, Hester saw a girl in the crystal room and called me in great excitement to tell me she had found my Madonna. We went there the following night. She isn't here yet, Michael, but she will be. The bartender says she drops in almost every night. You really think she's what I'm looking for? Darling, I'll bet on it. I don't know. I'm beginning to think my Madonna doesn't exist. Michael. Michael, there she is. So glad. Who is she? Do you know who she is? No. The waiter might ask him. Waiter? Yes, sir. Who is that girl? The blonde. I'm sorry, sir. I don't know. She comes in here often with the same gentleman. Thank you. I've got to meet her. Do you think she'll pose? Well, there's one way to find out. Go over and ask her.
funny intruding like this, but my name's Michael Gerard. I would like to speak to the young lady a moment. Please, don't be offended. I, I had to talk to you. I've been looking for you everywhere. I pleaded with her. I begged her. I explained how important it was. Finally, she understood. My search was ended. She agreed to come to the studio at 9 o'clock in the morning. I didn't sleep all night. My mind was whirling with ideas. My only desire was to get to the studio. Michael? Good morning, Mother. Good morning, dear. Mother, I found the girl, the model for my Madonna. Michael, sit down. You must eat something. I can't. I haven't got time. I get up every morning to make breakfast for you. I made you hot corn muffins, eggs basted the way you like them. Mother, I found the model. She's coming in at 9 o'clock. But your appointment isn't so important. You can't eat. Everything's ready. It'll just take a minute. Mother, I told you I don't want any breakfast. I've been awake all night and I'm all keyed up. You can't go to work on an empty stomach. Drive this your cab. It ain't my brother's. Let's go, will you? I'm in a hurry. Hold your horses, Bart. I gotta call in. Forget the call, will you? I'm late. Like I said, when I call in. I'm not going far. Please, make your call later. Okay, okay, if you're in such a sweat. Nice day, isn't it? Doesn't feel much like working today. I'd have rather gone to the track. I was out there a couple of weeks ago. Uh, that allows the placement of the head on the canvas. Let's see. And the feature I had lucky The job. angle of the light. If it hits from two above. Lights for three quarters. All then he dark wide. tones. Light on the Just face. Held him in. That is if he wanted to. Look, my friend, please. Yeah, yeah light from above. Only on the face. The boys really yeah, had big a big tone contrast. With grease. Yeah, it's got to shine through the They're spiritual smart. quality. Like a light from within. Real smart. I hear they only set up one More race of angle, week. so that the eyes are highlighted, luminous, Rather glowing. I wouldn't give to be in on yeah. one good fix. You wouldn't have any ideas, would you? Will you please keep quiet? Huh? I said keep quiet, will you? I'm trying to concentrate. No offense. Just talk him. Uh, not too diffused. Have to focus it. Maybe if I use a cold light on the Feel face. that pump? No, no one light it? in the background, yeah. That'll... No. Politics. That's so good. Brought it a bond issue two years ago. Uh, the other way, let's see. The pump's yeah, still there. Yeah, warm light on the face, cold on the background. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I'll work with a limited palette. And then, crooked with everything coming back to the face. I don't mean all politicians are crooked. What I mean is... Look, I'm busy. Will you please keep quiet? All right, bud. All right. Yeah, that's it. Everything, the line, the rhythm, the light. Everything is relative. I have it. All the lines converging out of the darkness. Yes, that's it. I said good morning. That's all. Plain good morning. Everything is relative, Copperfield. I just discovered it. I just said good morning. This is an issue, maybe? My good friend Copperfield, words do not mean the same to all men. Nothing is the same to all men. Is that so? So what does good morning mean? By me, it means good morning. What is it by you? Today, wonderful things. Promise, fulfillment. The reality of a dream. What are you talking, Gerard? Dreams are real. Yes, that's the beauty and the wonder. Mr. Gerard, don't give me foolishness. I'm talking real things. Real things? What is reality? You see that woman? Mm-hmm. You think she's real? She's a product of your imagination. I made her up from my imagination. Exactly. To every man, she looks different. One looks at her and falls in love. Another looks and sees nothing. Today... 
I shall put on canvas what I see in a woman. To you, the result will be a painting, but to me, it'll be as real as that woman. The painting is as real as that lady, huh? Yeah, yeah. Ah, you don't understand, Coppermeyer. I understand you are a loony. <laughs> you prove my point. The man you see in me does not exist. In my excitement of meeting my Madonna, I even had a smile for the nosy old cleaning woman whose hobby was minding other people's business. coming. Almost didn't make it. Didn't get to sleep last night. Came right over from the party. You should have been there. I'll be right with you. It will only take a minute. Well, I guess I am a mess. You see, I worked it all out as I came over in the cab. It came to me all of a sudden. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to pose you. Okay. Now, let me explain. This is a modern Madonna. You're the eternal woman, mother of all men, who sorrows for all her children. Ain't anything you want. Now, look out that window, up into the sky. Try to imagine you see innocent people suffering. Right? You're cute. been drinking. Yeah. There was some party last night. I kept wishing you were there. Well, you're drunk. So what? I'm here. I thought you liked me. Why are you acting so mean? Cut it out. Stop looking at me like that. Take your things and get out. I like you. Ow! Cut it out! Now you know what really happened. People see what they want to see, what they're prepared to see. A number of people saw Michael Gerard that day, and each thought he saw truly. But where is the truth? Michael Gerard, a square. My Madonna. <laughs> 